Hello guys, what's up? Simply Star Wars here, back for another YouTube video. And I have an apology to make recently, I haven't been uploading a lot, but I do have excuses for it. Excuse number one is I was making this. Yeah, it's a Mando helmet made out of cardboard. It's not the best looking, but I'm pretty proud of it and happy with it. And also, I've been grinding for the Princess Leia appearance and the Luke Farmway appearance. I'm happy to announce I finally unlocked them last night with a lot of grinding. I will make a video on it so you guys can find out how I did it. But today we're here for something completely different. Episode 3 of the figure review series. And today we have the Armourer. This is an incredible figure and I cannot wait to unbox it. Doing things a little differently, we've got a different setup. I will be taking the figure out of the box because with the previous ones, I didn't bother to include the box because they were just really plain and nothing really to look at. But with the newer version of the Black Series, we have some nice art on the side. And this is what I really love. You can display these on the shelves if you collect all the new ones and have them side by side. And I'm sure it would look awesome. So we have the armorer here. He's a glorious figure. And we have some description of her on the back. Now let's open her up. And here she is. She does come with two tools. Number one and number two. Now, things that I think are sort of missed in this figure i think it would be cool if we got a slab of best art best scar as we see in the first season of rando where she's forging his new armor out of the best scar given to her by the imperials being careful not to damage the packaging because i always keep my black series boxes because i think it just adds value to the figure if i ever do sell them i will just simply repackage them but here is a figure, and wow, she is stunning. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. It's just an amazing figure. I love the bronze, pinky sort of look on her chest plate. I love the gold. It looks absolutely incredible and weathered in some parts. And um, there is a lot of detail on this figure. It's actually stunning. Um, I love the cape. It looks metallic and weathered and used and the fur is removable but i don't know why you would want to remove the fur she kind of looks weird without it but let's have a look at this fur piece very nice very detailed and yeah this is just an incredible incredible figure i picked mine up on obviously star action figures you guys already know i'll put the link down in the description if you guys want to pick up your own armor up so let's have a look closely at the face and it's just exactly what we've seen in the show she has the spikes coming out the top of her head the same visor as bo katan or a similar one and just the gold looks incredible on this helmet definitely a worth it figure if you are display creating a mando display on her own i'm not sure if she'd look as good I think if you have a Mando figure, then this one's definitely worth it to be standing right alongside him in your display. Now, the gloves do have a bit of texture on there, which is very nice. The arm just has one joint. With the Commander Bly figure, it did have two joints, so it is more flexible. But you're not really going to get this figure into dynamic poses, because we don't really see that in the show. So, let's look at the armor chest plate very nicely painted we've got the classic mandalorian look and i just love the sort of pinky rose goldy look about this chest plate it's incredible really and you can see the reflection on it from my light um again when you're if you're posing your figure i will probably post a separate posing video or i might just do it all in the same video the, if you push your arm too far back like that the fur will fall off and you don't want that you want to keep the fur on in your display and there is a slot there in this piece there where they attach 
Now, the skirt is very nice. Again, I did say before, it's weathered, looks metallic, looks awesome. And at the back, there is some detail in there. The leg joints, again, there is only one joint at the knee. Um, just a warning, with most Black Series figures, when they come out of the post, their joints are pretty stiff. So I would say just let them relax for a bit. Don't force them. Maybe wait a day and then start playing around with your joints. Like, for example, my knee joints are quite stiff because this has just recently come from the post. And there we go. So this one's move moving now but just be careful with yours now as with all black series figures there is a ball where you can move the foot around and the foot does have some flexibility now let's look at the tools not really much to look at but we'll look at them anyway just a simple tongue grabber yep and then just a simple hammer but they are very nice and i'm glad that she did actually come with something now this video is actually going to be quite short so we're going to make it a little longer and we're going to do some posing so just be careful i'm going to make a proper po pose video on her but again like i said just be careful with it we're only going to do a couple poses now just to extend the length of the video all right so Normally with these types of things you want to bunch it up really close so it can all fit in a hand because you don't want one piece to be out and one in. So let's create the first pose. And again when you squish them in too close they sort of cross each other and it's not really what you want. And this hammer, again, it's a bit too big for her hands, so don't force it. Just let it slide in very nicely. The first pose, I mean, the only pose I'm really going to do this video, is just going to be a nice, powerful pose. I think I'm going to have her... When you move her head down, it looks almost sinister. It looks really cool. I love the way this figure looks. Just gonna have her casually holding her tools. I'm gonna twist this leg round so she's looking. You're meant to look at her from this angle. And yeah, I think this looks pretty good. I will make a proper posing video on her in the near future. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this figure review. Definitely go pick up an armor for yourself for your display. It is an incredible figure and worth the amount. Anyway guys, see you in the next one. This has been Simply Star Wars. I'm out.